It's Bernie Goldbach in his back garden. I'm talking on audioboo.fm on the 28th of August. Looking at Mark Little as I go through the Sunday papers. Mark does that too with storyful.com. And in an article in the Culture magazine in the Sunday Times, he points out that if you are an ABC News producer, for example, Storyful may have the news clips you you want, authenticated by a really good team of journalists behind the scenes about Libya or about Irene or about European uh, arts festivals. Good team of people behind the scenes curating the news from Twitter and from all sorts of disparate, fast-breaking sources. Jennifer Connell, also a journalist, and she was part of the startup called Journal, writes about a mom at work, basically the relative lack of understanding in the workplace for working mothers. She makes a good point here of the glaring stare off in the back of your head as you exit. If you have to hit the crash for a pickup or do a school run, I feel at 3 o'clock every afternoon as students leave my college classroom to make it. Hey, if you want to catch up with me on Twitter, I am top goal, www.insideview.ie is my website. So I'm just post study times, two papers I look at, I buy regularly. Hey, look, a front page QR code from Mood Media. I think that's important. QR codes are a lot of places in Sunday Times. A Sunday Business Post, um, unlike Time Times, uh, and also menus of places that I go, like the Absolute Hotel in Limerick. Nearly 2.5 million tourists visit historic houses and castles in Ireland in 2010. That's important to know. And a lot of people went to the local amenity. That's Rock Cashel, about 1.2 um, kilometers from my front door. Interviewed 700,000 people looking at where they visited in Ireland, Board Foster did. And you know what? The number one thing that a lot of tourists are saying is like, hey, I come to walk. I come to walk. That should go down well where I live in Cashel, population 2,976. We need better walking trails. New BES scheme could boost significant investments for startups. That's an article by Emma Kennedy. Important to know what that means. Companies now should be able to raise up to 10 million euro under a very, very tax favorable scheme. I know companies that are BES funded and uh, knowing that that could be sustained in the future is important. Top of the bailout class, looking at a Cliff Taylor article on Sunday Business Post. After years of headlines dominated by banking losses, it would appear the international banking community is convinced that Ireland is back to work. Ireland's exports will lead the uh, demand for Irish produced product. Where I'm living, that means food exports continue to be strong, and that is good. We're looking at Irish firms moving mountains. The production team here, Philip McGovern and Jane Kelly, Big Mountain Productions working on location. I train creative multimedia students. It's important for them to know that that's a viable industry, the creative industry is. Hogan must grasp the nettle of local government re- reform, so says comment analysis section of the backroom column commentator, the inside politics commentator, some of I suppose. Some stuff he's doing. Um, Phil Hogan's a big guy, uh, more of a fixer than an elected politician. He moves his weight around well. And the article makes a point here. 1,600 elected, elected members... These are councillors, local politicians, <clears throat> publicans, road hauliers, things like that. They're now able to get about 30,000 euro per annum and then top it up with such things such as a 10,000 euro worth of expenses for tuition programs as some of them are allowed to do. Hogan's pronouncement on local taxes and water charges, a lot of people don't like them, will bring financial stability to local authority and allow us to do stuff such as light our estate. Heavy school bags are history for ebook students, so says the information from an article called edcodigital.ie. The only publisher, Edco's the only publisher in Ireland to launch a complete digital camp uh, Curriculum, 80 interactive, interactive junior and leaving cert ebooks, with a lot of plans to expand. Hey, if you're watching this and you're from that company, contact me. I'm very, very interested from a third level innovation voucher point of view. Educators are being educated about ICT. Yes, the article says it's like a commercial profile of CESI at CESI.ie, and here we are. Uh, the the event that, that's coming up that everyone should go to. 700 mailing list participants equates to about 300 attendees at an annual annual conference provisionally set for February the 25th. Pam O'Brien and everyone else from edchat.ie, an event that happens on Twitter Monday evenings at 8.30 at night. Let's all go there. In the Sunday Times, let me remind you, you catch up with what I do and what I babble during the week from audioboo.fm stroke top gold or top gold on Twitter and all other fine social networks near your neighborhood. I'm G plus dot T-O stroke top quote as, as well. Apple without Steve. We're going to study that. 
in one of the uh, fourth year topics that I have in a creative multimedia curriculum. Steve's makes, Steve makes it across the financial press. Um, bow to Steve. I've got three my OS devices in the house. Innovator and a perfectionist. The boss takes tourism by the numbers, says Brian Carey. The business interview in the Sunday Times, a whole page about Niall Gibbons and his working day and the numbers. And his biggest challenge, the really big challenge, he says, is England. In Great Britain, those numbers have dropped. Well, 7.7% of all the travelers coming in to Ireland are from England. That number should be higher. Thieves roll out the barrel just for the metal, says Harry Leach. What they're talking about are pub barrels. So behind the scenes of the local pubs, 12 to 15 pub kegs will be behind the, the local pubs this weekend in Cashel because of the uh, premiership action going on. Manchester United plays, I think, Arsenal this afternoon. Um, 10 million euro worth of pub kegs have been stolen from pubs outside their premises. I think that's just amazing. Oh, melting down the pub cakes. Safe cycle lanes are needed for us to get on two wheels. That's what Kean Ginty says that people are telling him. 74% of those who would rather cycle are saying they'd do it if there are better off-lane roads. Off-lane cycle tracks. 56% said more connected and on-road cycle lanes. So, hey, they want roads marked. I don't know. I, I, I take a lane when I need it. Also take time out in this back garden. I have to clean up the Wendy house for, this, for the winter coming up and uh, finish composting in the back here. I'll give you pictures on Flickr.com, stroke photos, stroke Irish eyes if you're interested. Catch up with me, top quote on Twitter if you want to hear more about what I think in the world. And tell me, Peter Donegan, the Sideshow guy, catch up with him on iTunes. Are my Pachysandria healthy? You can be the judge. Thanks for listening. It's Bernie Goldbach, www.insavio.ie. Bye for now.